in 84 when we started Paradise Guitars I had a pretty crazy friend called Peter Gregor uh, from somewhere from the east he came as a kid and uh, he was totally into loudspeakers he made these speakers they sounded amazing good his invention um, and he always came to our workspace uh, because he loved to talk and exchange ideas and so once he asked me why do you use these guitar loudspeakers if we have so much better loudspeakers for guitars and I said well because they match the guitars it's what people are used to and uh, yes I prefer to use studio monitors myself and um, but somehow these uh, guitar speakers they're they're fatter and, and he said oh I know why it's because these membranes are not stable and you play a deep note on it uh, this creates a vibration within uh, the, the membrane and the result is a lower bass and that's why they like their speakers because it creates a note which doesn't come out of the guitar and is lower than the guitar so it's a fundamental which is great which is fat so I said well then the best thing we could do is use a standard speaker a good speaker a, a studio monitor at the time we had these tonoids concentric and add an effect create this lower octave electronically then we can add as much as we want of it and it's not necessary to carry these heavy inefficient speakers and uh, and we have the same thing for the studio we don't need to put microphones in front of the speakers so I made this in I think it was 1984 or 5 maybe when we started at Paradis, the first prototype it's for two strings there is a, a filter for the strings and there is a, a flip-flop that flips and flops at each wave so it creates an octave lower and then there is an, again a filter that cuts the treble so it doesn't but you know it just wanted to add a fundamental to the real sound of the guitar so it wouldn't call attention but make it fatter and so we, we gave up on the name poly octaver and then uh, called it poly sub bass and this machine was made about 300 times I think during 20 years or so and it does the same effect on three strings and it also has outputs for each string and separate for the the bass effect and there is also a stereo mixing thing in here where you can with resistors you can define how you want each string to be spread between left and right and there is a priority uh, switch here and it does activate uh, a circuit that detects which string is the lowest played because after trying that original prototype we, f we f find out that it's not nice to have two bass notes Rolf then made this guitar which is a newer version of the Avalon called Paradis and build all the electronics into it. It doesn't do the stereo thing but it has a, a smoother electronics as well and preamp and this is the MIDI board here you, it was also po possible to connect a, a firewire board firewire output and th these sliders here is the bass control main volume and on this board, this is the same board, you can see the poly bass now 
I've made as an SMD, already much smaller. And this works for four strings even, you can switch which strings you want to sound and also priority, of course. This is for acoustic guitars, the Rubin pickup and the Rubin electronics. And here it's one of those ports, you can take these apart. This one is only doing MIDI, I suppose. And here again, you have the same effect for only two strings. So, when I came back and uh, Rolf died, and I, about, I thought about what to do with all this, uh, and I thought that nobody would make part of these guitars anymore, so I wanted to offer the polysub bass for other guitars. And we made a new board. This is uh, one of the first prototypes which has seven preamps, so we have an, a, a spare one for, for uh, magnetic pickups or for uh, a body piezo, microphone, whatever you, you want to build in. And then here again, this is the filters for three strings and this is the flip-flops to create the low octaves and then we have a VCA and filtering again and then the, the newer version also has a DC-DC converter so it can work from 3 volts only and the mixer moved over here and uh, yes we can connect several potentiometers and on principle here is all the inputs and here is the outputs and from these you can connect this board and have separate outputs and 13 pin output for all strings and the, the good thing is you can plug this into a, a, an RMC polydrive or a Godan guitar it fits perfectly and it works immediately so this is our new product the new cover to put on the other guitar